All right, and welcome back to another interesting installment of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yeah, and we're back. And today we're going to do um, a mod review, sort of, <laughs> and revisit uh, an old mod with it. There's an issue with the church mod. Uh, the mod we're going to look at today is called Column, Columnia, Column, Column, Columnia, Columnia. Um, yeah, C O L U M N I A, Columnia. I guess, and it, 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 as you as you expected, it adds columns. Yes, it does. Look at those. But the real interesting thing is these brackets over here. And I will show those off because they are very cool. I haven't done the blueprint yet. Um, yeah. But it has all the crafting recipes. So the link to the mod, as you saw, is in, on my website under Mods Used in alphabetical order. That did not come out right. Alphabetical order. Yeah. And real quickly while we're in here... Um, Apart from the Russian spammers who want me to buy stuff, <laughs> I've updated my photo page. And um, here's a cool one from in here from George. I like how he did the sign on the window for Sarah's books. That is really cool. And this is inside like a mall. You have a gift shop over here. Really, really cool how he laid that out. And I like, you got the chains over here, making use of, uh, you know, like uh, the chandelier chains, the tops and the bases, and the signs on the glass. I'm gonna have to update my signs because in my town, there are a couple ones on there. So you can view all the uh, user input gallery and what I've been working on over on my website on the photos page. There you go. All right. So we are going to, uh, and other than that, we go into here. And uh, too many nodes said, I see protests in the near future of this town. No bicycle paths. Well, there sort of kind of are some bike paths. I'll show those real quick. And um, Michael said it would be cool if you could slide a beer mug down the bar and have it stop where you want it. Yes, it would. And we are going to try that. So let's go into my little world here. And can you, hi, Mr. Kitty Kitty. I created some new blocks. And my mod is getting ready to the point where I'm going to release it because I have been playing around with GIMP and color wheels. Um, it's real, I, I've been looking for blocks that are going to work for the townhouse. And if you remember in the photos, there is a townhouse temp or there's a townhouse picture that I want to base my inspire my townhouse on. That's the Civic Center right here. So this this picture looks kind of off because if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's a two car garage. So I need to make that proportional, but it's three stories and it appears to be 18 to 20 blocks long. And let's figure six times three is 18 tall. And it's got this cool, this would be a great use of the facade blocks around here. And this looks doable. Well, of course it's doable, but I can I can do that with these blocks here. It's raining in my world. Hmm. These blocks here. So this block and this block are real close. However, these two blocks look really, really cool. And these are of my own design. And I went on to a real cool thing with color wheels. So, by taking, um, this is real, if you know where to find, if you know where to find different color wheel schemes and calculators, and all you have to do is type in color wheel, 
and you'll come up with, I'm like, here's the Adobe color wheel. And you could basically find anything, anything that you're looking for. So we're, we're going to use this as the base color. And then we're going to play around until we come up with a color that let's say that we like. So let's drag this down. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. Not at all. But that's a pretty cool blue. So it'll tell you the hex code and the RGB values. And you can take those RGB values into GIMP and create your... I created a 16 by 16 block. Plugged in those RGB codes into the uh, bucket tool. And then just... Um, you can see I have... I, had, I do have textures in here and I used the noise generator because I wanted to try to like here's the um, the baked clay and they all have this kind of little pattern in it which really sets it apart and I wanted to do the same and I they turned out pretty good there's no repeating you can't really make out the repeating patterns as I made a mistake with my blue um, this blue gray one here and you could you could see the difference in that uh, right in right in here it creates like a, a pattern because these are too that's too light so I've been playing around with that and these are special these blocks here are my special blocks with one color on and these in, if you go in, if you go into, if you go into your, um, I'm trying to do like five things at once here. If you go into the, like you, you create your mod and these blocks, these, these solid color blocks and these blocks with the two tone are so easy to create. So all it is, is this is the whole thing right here. I named it my description, my titles, and all this was learned from, I actually learned all, all this from Nathan over at Mind Test Videos on his tutorials and everything. And you can see here, the tiles. The first one is uh, blue-gray one, and then baked clay white. I'm, I'm using baked clay for my base tile on there because obviously I build most of my builds using baked clay, which is a fantastic uh, mod. And then the PI, the, the uh, Param Type 2 Face DIR will allow me to do really cool things like, going back into here, grab the screwdriver and change where I want that side. And you'll see in a moment why that is important. So these are my new color blocks and these are off from the standard. So you go into, you go into baked clay and you can see the standard, like the standard colors. You have dark gray, green, light green, cyan, which is a beautiful block, brown. Brown is too dark. Um, black, uh, gray, a lighter gray magenta, which is a really cool block. So there's a lot of cool colors here, but you don't want everything the same color. And that's where this blue, this restaurant here, is going to be in this, uh, this blue gray. And then the townhome is either going to be these one, these four blocks are going to be the predominant blocks in the townhome. So let us go. And I really don't know what I'm going to do with this area, but real first, what I completed. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta check out. Let's go. Let's go over to the restaurant real quickly. And. Go in here. So we come in here and obviously. So Michael had said, hey, it would be cool to slide a, a beer down. Well, let's see if that will work. So I take a beer mug. Yep. And we are going to. Oh, cool. Yes, it works. However, you kind of have to stand here and we're going to throw it. Look at that. It's sliding down the bar. <laughs> I told you it does not take much. Now, here's what we're going to do. 
we're going to throw it and we're going to pick it up. Oh, give me my beer. There we go. And we have beers all over the place. Just sliding there. And we can throw it back. So that's where, if you remember, I have that, pro I have that problem with the mod. Um, why wouldn't it let me do anything? I have that, oh, I was pressing the wrong key. I have that problem with the mod um, because of the original Mom and Pops mod, which I will not get rid of. Nope, because it has a bunch of original stuff that I use in it. Let's pick up our glassware here <laughs> and go from there. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of things that I use on it. So if we come out back here real quickly, this is what we're going to be looking at. These brackets, I found these by, I was on um, Category 5 TV's Mind Test server. And these brackets are from uh, Column, Column, and Me, Column Mia. And they are cool. Look what you can do with them. Obviously, you can hang lights on them. But they were hanging torches. And real cool um, ways of doing doing it so let's let's go before we go look at the dealership you can see all the walls are done let's go look at uh Kalamia real quick come down here over by the park and that's not how you spell column that's not how you spell it that's not how you spell oh for the love of all. So hopefully everybody's having a good week. Everybody here is sick. You can tell by my voice. I am, my voice is not my normal voice. So we are going to take these. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different blocks here, as you can see. There's these cross ties. We are going to, we are going to use the Sequoia. And these are really cool looking. I got these picked out. I have my column brace. This one, and I think that's all I need. Oh, and this one. Now, they're very similar to uh, Castle, the Castle mod, as you can see down here, because the con there's columns in the Castle mod. And we'll pick this one just to be on the safe side. And let us get this here, because we're going to build a quick wall. Why not? He says. And the cool thing is, is now my daughter's off for three weeks on school break. All right, so here's our wall. And we are going to put place this here. Now, I have this over on... I have this over on my other ones that I'm using here. We'll go up one, obviously. So we, we can put a lamp here or a lantern. There you go. Anything you want to hang off of this. This will also act as piping. You can take this and let's say you have a, a water heater or here's a here's a, a column going down. So you could you could literally create different things by using this as a, a, a rusty pipe. Which is really cool. This will also work with some of my other favorite lanterns in that there you go. There's a lantern. So what they did is they had it upside down. I always do this. Come on, turn. And it takes some, there we go. If you look at that, now we're going to come up here and we're going to put a thing on here. And of course I did it wrong. There we go. There we there we go. Look at that. Oh, cool. We have this. So I saw this. And let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. We need some fire. And wait, what is that? Fancy fire. No, that's not what I want. I want... I think it's... Fa no, it's fancy fire. That's what I wanted. 
I'm going to put that there. And then they, they went in and they got a... They had... I don't have a glass pane. Like the one that they had. They had an old style one. I do, but it, it, it puts it in the middle. So what I want to do is I want to grab... The one on the end, we're going to enclose it. And it's a it's a glass pane, because we don't want the center one. Oh! Maybe, maybe I do. Let's see, glass pane, glass pane old. I wonder what that looks like. Now it puts it in the center, I can't use it. However, I can use that that's not the one either so glass pane you know what i'm going to use i'm going to use table because that i know is going to work for this demonstration so what we want here is we're going to put it here grab our replacer tool to make it easy and that was very stupid of me So by placing this, you can actually you can actually place glass all the way around this in which and then put a top on it. Now you have now you have a lantern. It does work better with the older style glass, but you could get the you get the point of how that how that will work. So those are that's the uh, bracket, the rusty bracket. The other thing for the column and I don't want to spend a lot of time on it because I have a lot of things to show you here. So we are going to put, we're going to build a real cool column set here. Something's off. Oh well. <laughs> Something's always off with my builds. I don't know what it is. So we're going to put this up. And as you saw, there was a whole bunch of different uh, flavors and colors and and things so now we're going to come up here and we're going to put a topper on here which is also used for connecting did it take it no it did not because there we go and i like making medieval medieval poster Four poster beds out of these stuff, this stuff, which kind of works really cool. So you can see, you can see where it's going here. It has a very, very cool look. And then there's this block. So let's say we take out this one and put in another intersection here, and we'll do the same over here. And we can create something real cool like that. Just to, just to, your imagination, with any of these, your imagination is going to dictate what will actually happen here. I'm just, I'm just creating just some real cool stuff here. And then we can take, I wonder if, yes, that would work, but I want to be artistic. I want to be artistic about it. So we're going to do this. That's kind of cool. I wonder if I can flip that upside down. Oh, look at that. Except it doesn't, it doesn't connect because this would have to be turned around. I wonder if that would work. And this is how you this is how you play with your blocks to get them to do to do what you want. Oh, look at that! So you can get real creative and real decorative to what you want to do here. And these would be like top posts and stuff like that. We take that out and put this in here. So it's a very it's a very interesting mod. And to what you can what you can do with this, and also what we'll what we'll play off of here is we can do some we can do some kind of decorations here and different colors and different 
different styles. And there you go. So that is a small use of that mod. And like I said, it, it's an older mod. It still works. Look at that. I mean, so you can create fancy doorways and fancy, you know, bedposts and stuff like that. And it's really, it has a really cool look to it. And with these brackets, you can see I'm hanging lights off the bottom. I am hanging lights off the, uh, off the top of them. You can create different, um, we could take this here. And if you don't want to use the standard wall lantern, that looks very cool. And because sometimes this wall lantern, which is, which is really nice, might not work. So you could have something like that. And I do a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff with my lanterns. I like creating, I like using different things. Here's one. And I also mix it up. I have, I have a, another pole that I use for, like, here's a, here's a pole from home decor that I, that I use. And I, I also simulate that by putting a fence post on the bottom. And what that will do is give a slightly larger base. So there's a, a metal version right there. A metal version of same thing. So you can see here, it, it kind of doesn't all meet at, at the top there, but that's okay because it gives the illusion. There you go. It gives the illusion of a full lamppost. So you can see how that would work. Very nice. So that's Kalamina. And there's a bunch of different stuff in there that one may use. Like I said, it, this is mixing up some of the other ones. There's a whole bunch of different textures and uh, stone, rusty column. So there you go. Okay, so now let's get on with we have the park completed. We have the fountain completed. We're going to go up. And there are, you could use this as a bike path. It'll share with the bikes. But there's a couple different materials that I would use for a bike path. And I might show that real quick. So over here, we have a little picnic area. These are my little custom made patios. And these are all cut in the circular saw, different sizes. And then different panels on the outside to make it look like uh, an umbrella with a pole and then just some table wood. And it comes off as a very convincing patio set and umbrella set. And then you could, you could also, as you saw over at my, um, my, uh, like the vacation resort, I have ones here where I actually took the outer rings and made them blue, yellow, and red, and you can make them different colors, stuff like that. So the Porsche dealer had to give up part of their outside here. Aww, to create this little thing here and it comes out there's an opening here and I'm thinking about putting a window over here to um, allow for the ice cream parlor but you see we're too far down I was going to do it like a drive through window so first we're going to come into the dealership and you can see here I have my little service area with all my boxes that's from uh, morg underscore blocks and these telephones, which were in home decor, I was I was I, I threw them in here because they look kind of cool. It's not a business phone, but you'll hear in a second. So I put some real fancy desks, some counters in, threw some boxes in there. We got some Porsche parts coming in for the auto mechanics, tires, we got some trophies, CCTV camera. Yeah. And then we come into the showroom. And I did these two-tone two -tone kind of Porsche red and gray walls. We got some plants over here. That is so cool when I finally figured that out. And then little office area for sales and whatnot of getting your new Porsche. And this is kind of interesting. You can see this the little bump here. 
because I use these on the walls here, and you'll see in the ice cream parlor, I had to use colored tiles for the for the wall the walls there. And the one the ones that I used, because I didn't have enough room, because I miss I miscalculated. I miscalculated on my thinking. So when when you put this block down and then you change it to whatever side that you want like right here this so this wall will be blue however the other walls are going to be white well i had colors on the other side of the wall so these these little panels allowed me to keep this depth that i wanted and still cover the wall up and and be symmetrical because behind here is a green <laughs> a red and a special tile from the other side yeah so that's a little that's the oh the phones aren't ringing they actually ring come on ring ring for the nice people whatever they ring and we have a bathroom for everybody here of course because realism I do try it I do try to do realism and because it makes me happy. And then we have the, the we have a penguin. We have the uh, Porsche penguin and we have the waiting area with the coffee maker, a little sink, do the steaming cup of hot coffee. I got to see how Vanessa did that in the home decor code. That is so cool. So that works. That's the dealership. So the Porsche dealership is done and dusted. And it looks really cool from the outside. So you come out here and you want to see through the window and you got the blue F40 and Ferrari actually did make a blue F40 and then red F40. And we have the other Porsche behind here. We have some Porsche customers out here. Look at that sky color. Wow. Yes. And then we come over here to the ice cream parlor. And you're going to see, because this kind of screwed things up, I had to actually double block this and take away from, from the blocks. So this window actually extended out to here, this window here. And so now there had to be two blocks instead of just one. And you'll see in a second why. So this is the ice cream parlor. So I did not want to do the double block method where... But I, I had no choice on that Take it to take away. I'll show that in a second what I mean by double block. So you can see here, there's only one block. I wonder what I did there. Oh, there I have a, a half, half block. Yeah, this little half block on here. That's why it does that. So to use, oh, the, across the street. Is the is the easiest way to do that so my my block that I have one thing on there's you, you use I now this is a bad this is a bad case too because I double blocked it <laughs> I'm batting a thousand here basically that the, these blocks that have the the color on one side and the white on the other side allow it to so that you don't have to use double blocks that's the whole that's the whole deal on that or like this wall is is double blocked you can see the red block over there and it wouldn't it wouldn't actually fit so I, that's why I had to do that so that comes there and the walls are all real cool on both sides so here's the ice cream parlor and I think it looks really cool with those with those color choices um, I'm going to do something different for the ceiling, maybe a light gray or a pale yellow block, but it adds just enough. We come over here. These are air conditioners from Home Decor, and they're very cool, very cool units. No, I won't be. There it is right there. However, only they, they, they have two sides. So this is meant to go into a wall. And here's, here's your back side with the ventilation. And then here's the front side with the controls on it. 
and you'll see you you'll remember that I use these as garage door because they they fit up and they they mimic a garage door but they're supposed to go into a wall to mimic a in in window air conditioner unit and it works pretty cool that way but I use them as ice cream coolers so this side I just use the the clear side instead of you know I can only have it if I do this there's going to be one block so I have it I have it like that and it gives the impression that there's an ice cream cooler and then we come back here we have a point of sale system we have a little office back here and I had to do the same thing with extending the lip so I can get the depth in that I wanted yeah and we have a ref refrigerator trash can little office here's where I was gonna put like a drive-through window unfortunately the outside doesn't link up so we have a we have a work area and we have the cooler controls hi welcome to my ice cream parlor can I take your order please okay and that works and then back here obviously for realism we have a bathroom <laughs> for the for the patrons and they can take their ice cream and come out back here and go look at it on the Porsches to see what the mechanics are doing you, there's the, there's a look at how I use how I use that oh why not let's go see what's on the other side of this wall here there's a horse head oh there's a picture now there's an air conditioner so you can see there's an air conditioner there this is how this block is supposed to work and it fits through on the other side and it gives a window so that's kind of cool but um yeah and i might do something with the walls inside here there's another one of those clocks the uh on time clocks this is it's it, this is in with dream builder mods and it's actually 9 15 in mind test time and in a few seconds you'll see it change to 920 925 because mind test time moves very very quickly so there you have it the ice cream parlor is done the Porsche dealer is done we looked at the column columnia mod which is very cool I like those and I, I do want to, I'm going to update the colors of the chairs because it needs to be more cheery in here. So I know that. We we have some stuff back here. We have uh, sodas, ice cream flavors, shakes, milkshakes, and special teas. Very cool. So that is the ice cream shop. And the Porsche dealership. And we have some Porsches and stuff. Over here, Porsche dealer turned out really cool. I wish those phones would have rang. And come on, ring for me. Ring for the nice people. <laughs> so we're going to make it. Ring. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Please ring. It won't ring. I guarantee you the minute I walk away, it's going to ring. Oh, well. They do. They, they actually have an old time, an old fancy time telephone ringing. But it's not going to ring. I can't make it ring. And there you have it. We are coming along very nicely. Now over here with the garage, I didn't do anything with the garage except for add some cars and lighting. However, this looks cool. I changed the stairs to give a more, um, a beefier stair look. And in the circular saw, in the circular saw, there is a real cool block. So these are the other stairs that I use. And then you have this stair right here. 
And that, that makes it really cool. And then up here, to add some kind of artistic, I just put, I cut another block here and put it on top of there to, to make like a ridge. And it looks, it looks pretty cool decorative wise. I could have put some lighting on there and stuff like that. So this is coming along nicely. I didn't do anything to anywhere else. In the next episode, I'm going to start building the townhouses right here. I'm going to put like four of them in, which will take up this whole row into the office park that'll be over here. And go from there. Because I've been doing so much stuff with uh, World Edit, I mean, just getting out large areas, I've been seeing some holes appear because it does say that it'll regenerate regenerate other areas which is kind of weird now the other problem i'm having real quickly before i let everybody go as this comes in here is the default trees have a little problem the church mod has these uh wild hives and as you can see over here in this area of default trees so apparently anything that hit anything that has like the default ones and you can see there's one, two, three hives in this tree. And then in one tree, I counted four hives. There's got to be a way. I'm going to go into the forum and ask them if there's a way to, there's got to be a way to stop the uh, placement of the hives because that's a, that's a little excessive. And they're, they're kind of ruining the aesthetic. Here, here's one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine look at it look at them all and you have to go through and you have to bust them and i don't want to delete them because then you you'll see a whole bunch of trees with you know unknown unknown blocks but i want to limit them to that they don't spawn as often and i did the same thing with the cows a long time ago the developer of that mod had said we'll put this in your mind test um dot com file and it was cows uh, uh, mobs underscore cows colon zero hi horsey but i don't want to get rid of the church mod because there's a lot of things in that mod that are really really cool the candlesticks and the uh the pews and the um the altar and some of the other blocks that are in there which could be uh, multi-use. And like I said, I'll put in a mod just for one block. If, if I use that block, these, these, column, these columns and stuff, I will use these. I've already used the brackets as you, as you saw on the back side, my alley over on my little town here. So my town is coming along real nicely. I have to clean up my, my mess here. And I'm going to extend the parking lot over here. They have some parking for the Porsches. <laughs> i got to move my train tracks. Oh, uh, yeah. So back here is where you can see I, I use those columns. And like I said, you, there's a lot of very cool things that you could do with these. Making piping and, and stuff like that just to, to make everything future. This is so cool back here, this area. Very nice. So that is going to do it. This is going to be the last video before Christmas. So whatever you believe in, um, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas, Festivus, um, which is the original pagan holiday, uh, whatever you celebrate, whatever holiday that you do, or not, I am wishing everyone to have a fantastic week and holiday of your choice. And because I look at Christmas, I don't believe Christmas is meant to have, and I'm, I've felt this way for a very, very long time. Christmas is not about the individual getting presents. And I've had relatives and friends that judge a person on the cost of their present how much the present cost them. Oh, they must really like me because this present was $100 or that. That is not the correct meaning of Christmas. Regardless of what religion you are or what it means, it, it 
to me, it means of people getting together and actually being nice to one another for at least one day a year. And I mean, putting aside the original religious aspects of it, that, you know, just that, that people being goodwill towards all people. And that's what it means to me. So hopefully everybody has a wonderful holiday, however you, however you celebrate it. And the start of a very, very prosperous and good new year. And watch more mind tests. <laughs> and the channels that I have supported and, and that support me, like Nathan over at Mind Test Videos and um, other Mind Test channels in the past that have put out content and everything else. Uh, show everybody some love, give some likes, watch, watch some videos, learn something that you want to learn and go from there. So thank you very, very much for watching. And I am going to put out my little block mod. Hopefully I'm going to start condensing things down because my mod is over 1500 lines of blocks and test blocks and, and garbage. And it, any developer that actually saw my spaghetti code would, would laugh to the point where they'd pee themselves. So I have to <laughs> clean everything up and get it, get it ready to release. And, and I got to get it done before the year end. Um, even in it, even if it's unfinished, it will be, it will be released for people to play with and go from there. So thank you very much for watching everybody. Have a wonderful, fantastic week and holiday season. And I'll probably have one more video before the new year. Uh, if not, have a happy new year. And, um, yeah. Goodbye.